Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're in a new game. This is a uh, Overdrive, and uh, basically this is like probably one of the coolest games I've seen in Roblox. It's like really cool. So uh, uh yeah, let's just get into it. I, I have Racer with me as well, so he's taking big ones. Uh, there's a lot of fast cars in this game. I'm gonna give a brief tour of the game, and then uh, I'll be it. And the map. So. Here's the uh, GUI, you can pick a job. Um, the delivery team, we'll get into that later, but the civilian team is obviously the same thing. So, uh, The store, you can't really access the store right now. And then uh, obviously your garage with all the stuff in here. So uh, this dealership is kind of based off of CarMax, which is, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, here's the uh, dealership. It looks like we got uh, car 0071. It looks like they're role-playing, so maybe they're recording, I don't know. Um, all right, so here is the uh, dealership thing the ones the cars that you see that are locked are actually cars I cannot afford right now, so Yeah, but it's cool. So show affordable cars only we got a Chevelle an Explorer an Equinox a Saturn a Type R a C5 a Kia a Volt a Nissan another Chevy and like all of these cars um some other stuff here that you can unlock, like the GT350, um, the Tesla Rosa, um, and then the Model 3. Uh, they also got a GTR down here, so it's plenty more cars, but it's cool. So the car models, I believe, were made in Blender. Uh, they're really nice, though. So uh, obviously, they got non-copyrighted logos on the cars, which I thought was cool. So here's a startup on the Supra, I guess. All right. Yeah, so the startup has a crackle, which is really nice. Uh, they have manual and stuff. They got park, which is where you can rev it. I just got the reverse gear. So yeah. Let's just go. They got their headlights, obviously. Uh, the graphics in this game is are really nice. So I thought that was a good touch. We're just gonna go in here into the town. As you can see at night, the roads have those little uh, glowy neon things. They reflect off your headlights. Uh, the Skybox is pretty cool also. It's kind of cloudy at night though, that thought was weird. Um, all right. The game is definitely very unfinished, but uh, it's what you get. It's, it's an early access game for 60 Robux. So, uh, so far, my first impressions when I played it were it's like amazing. So, there's all kinds of places on this map, I guess. There's Awa, which you can actually work here as a delivery person. I'll get to that later. Um, as you can see, there's a turbo whistle, as you can probably hear it. Um, this car doesn't have a blow off though, so it's kind of weird. There's a, it's kind of like Forza. There's like a farther away view. You got a hood view and then a first person view, which I thought it was cool because uh, everything's muffled in here. So like you can, you can really not really hear it. Which is, I thought it was cool. When you uh, stop your car, it really depends on the car. Some cars don't do it because in real life they probably don't have that feature. When you stop the car all the way like this, the hazards turn on because people think you slammed on your brakes. And uh, I thought that was really cool. So obviously other cars in this game too. You got the S2000, which is my personal favorite. So yeah, the road sounds, like when you drive on the road, the sounds like the tires make on the road are really cool. And uh, I don't see it in much games except UD. That's the only game I see these. Except like, it's it's almost a little tiny bit overkill in this game, but it's nice. Like when you get on the highway, like the road sound changes. A little bit. So I thought that was cool. You can't really hear, but there's a little echo under the tunnel. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, the nights are very realistic in this game. I'm surprised how like good they are. So yeah, we're gonna get on a bridge up here and we're gonna show you guys how it sounds. It sounds really nice. Also, the highways have like the little lights too. So let's hear this thing on the bridge. So I thought that was cool. Lost in Delaware, I know you're watching this video and I know you're addicted to those concrete sounds. I am too. That was a really good idea of adding them to the game. It's really realistic. I think there's sounds when you drive on the grass too. There's also particles when you drive on the grass. So, that's cool. Grash. Grash. Um, 
There's a little bug in the game right now where um, when people leave the game, their cars stay spawned. So like at the end of the day, you could have literally like thousands of cars on the road and uh, they're just vacant and no one's in them. So um, yeah, the first person this thing is especially cool. I'm a little tall, but that's fine. You can like kind of like tilt your camera a little bit like this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take this exit up here. Or actually no, because we can't really. So we'll take the exit right here. Just like this. And we're gonna go on the wrong side real quick. So over here, uh, oh, the traffic lights are up. They do work and they're really cool. Over here is kind of an unfinished town, but there will be, I think there will be multiple towns in this game, so that's really cool. And over here, there's like a gas station. So let's go check that out. So here's, I think, one of the only gas stations in the game. Uh, actually, not many people know about this area, but it's really nice. The uh, canopy here kind of reminds me of a free model, but it's just this style. I don't know why there's some grass textures here. That's kind of weird. Some of the cars are cool because they can do like all kinds of things. So like, here, this car can uh, do a burnout. So like, look at this. I thought that was cool. I can also do some other things, like uh, donuts. So I thought that was cool. And also, there's a feature in this game um, called uh, open photo. It's just called photo mode, but there's a button where you can open photo mode, and it brings up this little. Uh, you gotta get the chat out of the way, kind of. This UI here, where uh, you can change your field of view, like this. You can make it super wide or super close. And uh, you can change the warmness, which means like if you want it warm, it, most of the colors in the game become warm colors. And then cooler, they become more cooler colors. Or shades of the color. So we're just gonna put that there. Sun rays, it's not right now, so you can't really do anything, but it's just like the intensity of the sun rays. Uh, right now in the game, the sun rays are a little much, but that's fine. The blur, you can uh, completely blur it out, but uh, I like having it just like Brother, just TV above one. The brightness, you can obviously change the brightness. Uh, it's a little weird because it gets a little bright when you ch turn it all the way up, but you can also get it like kind of dark, and it kind of looks almost, it kind of has a cinematic feel when you uh, turn it down, like here. That's cool. And if you want to take your picture, uh, you press Tab to get rid of the leaderboard right here, and then you uh, press this Hide UIs button. And you can take your screenshot just like that. It has it for 10 seconds, so if you want to take multiple screenshots, um, and then it comes back after 10 seconds. So, I thought that was cool. You can just kind of like drift like this. Alright, that's cool. Over here is another building, I believe. It's, it's honestly such a big map. It looks like there's a subway here. Is that what this is? has an apple as the logo. Oh, it's like an Applebee's, an Apple Ranch. Oh, my car actually made it over. Yeah, so that's kind of like an Applebee's. And over here is actually a bank. Oh, and uh, I think there might be a Starbucks over there. I don't know. Bank of Delaware, is that what that is? All right, this game is set, set place in Delaware, so that's cool. Right here, honestly, I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks like a steak and shake a little bit. Oh, uh, there's a lot of holes in this map. And that's not the dev's fault. Roblox kind of has a glitch where some, like it like gets rid of parts. I don't know. It's weird. Kind of explore this area. So like, there's kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts looking place over there. Uh, I don't really know what that is. There's a uh, signs here too, like highway signs, and they're really realistic. I think they're probably taken from real life, so I thought that was a nice touch. Over here is another neighborhood. Uh, it's kind of hidden actually, but uh. You just gotta take some roads and obviously you'll eventually get there. So let's go over there. A lot of the roads here are work in progress, but it's it's very impressive for uh, how short of in development this game has been. Like I think they've been in development for about like two months now and that's it. Or at least public development. I don't know if they like did it, I don't know. Anyway, here's the neighborhood. Uh, definitely a little bit uh, empty in, in the roads here, but. Oh, well, it's really nice. I thought that was cool. Um, all the 
most of the terrain and roads are in this game are actually made in Blender. And if you don't know what Blender is, it's basically a software that like three. It's you use it to 3D model things. A lot of animators use it to animate stuff, and a lot of Roblox developers also use it to uh, make cars. And uh, the devs were uh, very cool in this game because they use Blender to actually make most of the map. So I thought that was cool because like usually people just use parts. Okay, now we're gonna get to uh, one of the coolest parts in the game that's unique from most driving games in Roblox, and that's the delivery job. The main place where like the delivery job is is right here. Uh, it's called Awa, I think. Yeah. So back here, you step on this little glowing yellow square, and uh, you, become, you uh, as you can see, you're on the delivery team now. And then after that, um, this little uh, thing pops up right here. It's a little square right here. Uh, there's a Porsche inside it, but you can just go back here and start a new delivery. You click it, and then it says to go to uh, Cicero Crossing, I think. Now, obviously, you have no idea where that is, but thankfully, there's a little uh, square that uh, you see, and it's just a finished square. So we go over there, and you gotta somehow find your way over there. It's not really that hard. There's just a road right here that we can take. And we're actually just over there, so. Now, I heard rumors that there might be an Overdrive Roleplay server. I don't exactly know yet. So if anyone's watching this video and is, makes Roleplay servers, I wouldn't recommend making an Overdrive Roleplay server right now because, uh, who knows, the devs might be in the work in the works of an official one. So uh, maybe just like wait it out if you're going to make an RP server. That I, I was actually going to make an RP server, but I decided to wait. So there's a lot of trees in this game, but it, it doesn't really lag. So I thought that was really cool. And right here is the house where I have to deliver. I don't exactly know what we're delivering, but I'm just gonna say it's like an Uber Eats type thing, but you have like a car instead of like a bike. Just like that. There you go. You get like, you got only 200 bucks. I believe they're gonna raise the price, but right now you only get 200 bucks from it. So that's kind of sad. There's uh, more houses I'd like to show you guys. So uh, let's head over there. Alright, we kind of missed a turn, but right here is a little neighborhood. So, let's turn it in here real quick. There's some nice houses here. Got one right there with like a barn garage. Down here is a little road to a parking lot. I don't know why this is here, but it's nice, I guess. And then over here is another road with some other houses. Let's see one right here and one right there. I guess we'll just use the back area here. Right here is one of my favorite houses in the game. It's like, there's a little staircase here. I thought that was cool. The driveway is kind of steep, yeah, but I like it that way. So next up, uh, over here is just another road, back road kind of, to us some more houses. I think it's just one, so yeah, it's just one house. Now, um, there's two, two like main, main roads. Up. So we got this road, and then we got the highway we were on earlier. So I thought that was cool. Right here is a bridge that actually has the highway. So the highway's on that bridge and it goes that way. Right here is a little neighborhood road. Um, it's kind of a dead end up here where you can't really see anything. Yeah, it's just kind of an empty cul-de-sac. Uh, we'll spawn on my C5 since uh, it's almost like a perfect place to do donuts. So let's see. All right. Let's do this. There you go. It's a perfect place to do donuts. And then here's a neighborhood here. Here. Uh, if there was ever a roleplay server, I'd probably live here in RP. So. Take notes. 
take notes, yeah. So yeah, that's about, uh, that's basically the first look at Overdrive. Um, in the next video, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but, um, yeah. I'm just gonna end this video off with some, uh, funny clips of, uh, from Overdrive that I recorded today. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Do not fall off the map. Crap, I crashed the thingy. Did you crash that? Zombie <laughs>